everyone welcome to intentional living space i am your friend purvi and i make videos for you on minimalism and intentional living guys it's been a minute since we met last of course you know uh, but uh, i'm really happy to connect with all of you once again today's topic is important because a lot of festivals have started to you know uh, come up in india we have a lot of upcoming festivals and during these festivities our mind immediately goes to newer things purchasing new things revamping things refreshing our routine now generally what happens is this is the peak time when all the sales are announced on offline and online purchasing you know stores or or like apps etc and this is our most vulnerable period this is the time when we feel like oh my god i can't resist the temptation so today's video is going to talk exactly about that resisting temptation of shopping during the festival season and i hope that you guys find some value in it so without further ado let's get on to it so the first thing which i can suggest to you is you know before you go into this world of shopping enticing world of shopping i would rather say because everything and everyone is bombarding deals at you so the first thing you can do is which i did very recently till last week my husband and i we opened our cupboards and removed everything out so when it concerns clothes this time of the year we all feel like buying something new so what we did was take an audit of our belongings so whether you are getting a temptation to buy some personal clothing home decor new crockery children's clothing whatever it is accessories just take a audit of that area just count the number of things that you have i'm 100% sure all of us women and men have enough clothing and we don't really need more but we do feel tempted because everyone else is telling us this is not in trend the latest trends are these the latest colors are these our role models and film stars are wearing something that we feel you know very uh, eager to you know mimic them or copy them so this is very natural but when you take a audit of your belongings you come to know that how many things of those things that you exactly have for example sarees how many sarees do you have do you need one more just be honest with yourself you don't need second thing which i would like to talk into this point is that uh, especially for women i mean when we are talking about ethnic wear or festival season wear it's always good to go back to closets of your mother or if you have a sister you will find something that you can pick up i'm sure no one will mind your mother you know if you want to pick up one of her clothing so you will also feel like you're wearing something new at the same time you would have not put in money because what generally happens is it's less about the money going out but more about the maintenance of that thing that you purchase festival season and ethnic wear are very difficult to declutter so please shop mindfully the second way i resist my temptation is i have uninstalled all shopping apps on my phone number 1 i have also gone to each email promotion that i have received on my email about these new uh, you know sale and new new collection new edits unsubscribe to all of them when you have deleted done this step if you're an online shopper trust me you will really really this will benefit you will not again go back and un, you know install that app and again browse until so basically we get tempted tempted by the announcements or the notifications that we receive so when you distance yourself from these notifications you will not feel tempted if uh, if you're given the advertisement we feel tempted similarly if you are an offline shopper please resist going to malls and shopping centers and markets during this time i know it is very very difficult but if you really want to be a minimalist you don't want to have unnecessary things coming into your life then please stay away from these things second is uh, you know a sub point to that is i have also removed uh, the payment details on the shopping apps so when we make it very easy for us to order things like you know we are in the middle of the night we are not getting sleep and we are scrolling you know a, a e-commerce site and we are like wow that particular dress looks great and i would look fab and i have a party coming next week and i have don't want to repeat my outfit and guess what in one click it's ordered because you've saved your payment detail you've loaded your wallet so try not to do those things make it difficult for yourself to get that to acquire that item and this technique is very uh, common but it works it works when you distance yourself from a sudden urge 
you will realize that that particular thing is not worth that much. I mean, it was just a pure urge or a temptation and you will not end up doing that. Okay, the third point, which is little more interesting and hopeful than the first two, is that if you have a shopping budget, let's say you have given yourself about 20,000 for Diwali, 20,000 rupees for Diwali to spend on yourself and you're like, you know what, I'm going to buy, but you are not, you don't want to buy anything, you already have so many things. What you can do is you can use that money to uh, gift yourself an experience. If you're a spa kind of person, go to that, you know, uh, good spa that you always wanted to do that or you want to splurge some money on your grooming, on, on the way you look, you could do that. You could also treat a family member, like you could actually take a family out on, you know, like a brunch or a buffet to a very good restaurant, you know, that you always wanted to do. So basically, if you have a budget and you really don't want to shop, you can use this to gift yourself experiences. Just to, you know, give you an example, very recently, uh, I used my shopping budget to take my family out uh, for a wonderful, you know, buffet dinner. My parents had not been to any kind of, you know, like a buffet dinner in a, in a very good hotel before. And we had a wonderful time uh, because it was very new for them. We clicked a lot of photos. We had a lot of great memories. And trust me, when we look behind, like five years behind, that dress is, is doesn't matter what I was wearing. But that moment, that event and what I did for my family will always be very very precious and memorable to me so remember that you know these things are not really going to give you memories the people that you spend your time with are going to give you memories so use that budget for that okay guys so if these three points were not ready to convince you to stop shopping i've come with the last one which is for all you people who just can't stop shopping so guys, I understand Diwali is a very nice period, there's a lot of, um, you know, you can say positivity in the air, you feel like, you know, having a lot of get-togethers, feel like gifting people, giving things, buying things, absolutely understandable. So my next point is that please keep a strict budget towards this. When you keep a budget or when you keep a boundary that this is the amount that you want to spend, it results into proper, you know, mindful purchases and also it's not too you know heavy on your pocket and you lose track of what you know how much money actually went into it so i would take a ballpark figure of about 20 to 25 percent of your monthly income can be spent on shopping that is a one-time shopping expense for the festival season now if your salary is in a very uh, low uh, you know in a, in a low bracket you can increase this number to 30 percent or if it's in a very high bracket you can reduce this number to 10 15 percent so you will have to take that ballpark figure and give give yourself only that much room to play with. Now whether you want to buy something for yourself or for others or treat people or have an event around it is your choice. But always remember to keep an eye on your finances because generally in these months we stop looking at our uh, bank statements because we are so excited, we are in the spirit. But after some months when we look back and we are like, damn i really went overboard so let's not do that let's stop ourselves at the right time and save us some you know like uh, shocks okay guys the last point on the topic of curbing temptations would be to gift mindfully everybody wants to give something to their loved ones but let us be a little more mindful towards these things i always set a budget of gifting i don't go overboard i have a budget between 200 to 500 per gift per family i know that could be less for some or more for some but that's the way i like it second i always give people according to what they are about and not rather than just a, a kind of a factory produced hamper that okay you know this is it for everyone of course it depends on your individual preference but i want to give them something that they remember and many of my friends actually remember when they are wearing some piece of jewelry i've gifted them or or a bag or an accessory i've gifted like oh you had given me you know that thing during diwali so go into your mindful gifting treat a person like a person not just an obligation that you have to give something to them and finish it off give something which is useful sustainable if you have something that you've already got from someone you know you're not going to use it please pass it on as minimalists we really have to be very conscious of the things we bring into our life because if we have decided to take this path 
we will have to take some pains to follow it so guys i hope that you enjoyed today's video i know it's been long i'm trying to make it regular but there are some things in my life which require my attention at the moment hence the delay is is happening often but let's let's i wish you a very happy festive season of course i'm going to meet you again and have a wonderful time see you share subscribe like this video bye bye